And over here with Alison Davis at Wild Time Cooking. And I asked Alison, as you all know, that, you know, I had a bit of a croaky throat and I was feeling a little under the weather. And I'm not one to go to the doctors and get antibiotics. Right. And I said to Alison, you know, how about we make some type of detoxifying soup or broth or what could you come up with that can help our viewers at home? Just give us that little kick along that is good for the whole family. So what did you decide to pull together for us? Well, we're basically doing a vegetable broth um, because that's really where all the detoxifying properties come from. Yeah. And the reason broth, you know, we call it like the chicken soup for the soul like grandmother used to make way back when, um, is because it sits and it cooks for a low heat yes. for several hours. So you kind of extract that nu the nutrients out of those vegetables. Yeah. And so then it's easier for your body to absorb it when you drink it through broth. So that's why... Good idea. I didn't... So normally I would make a chicken soup uh -huh. and then you know how people love all the vegetables. Mm -hmm. I puree it all because I like the liquidness of it. Okay. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, but you don't actually no. have to puree it if you just cook it on a low simmer and then just strain it. You're still going to get all of that out of the vegetables. So the bulk of the vegetables, so what you're putting in here, you've mm -hmm. got potato, so I see we've got carrots and yeah, onions. Yeah, so we're just going to start adding this in. Okay. Careful, the water's hot. Yeah. Um, ideally, you want to do filtered water. Um, if oh. you can. Um, Why is that, Alison? Uh, well, Just better for yeah, you, obviously. Yeah, I mean, yes, because tap water, you know, there's other, you know, properties. So if we can have yep. it filtered, that's absolutely I noticed be the best. you've got onion. Yeah, so Any I kind of just did, did a rough chop on these because, <clears> again, we're just going to strain them. Yeah. Do you think any type of vegetable is a good vegetable when you're doing a broth? Honestly. Is there anything you wouldn't put in there um, when it comes to a vegetable? I'm trying to think. Maybe not like your broccoli, um, you mm. know, because of broccoli the little... Broccoli cauliflower. Yeah, maybe not those yeah. so much. Yeah, I got you. Uh, but actually, I even pulled out some beets because um, you could use beets in there as well. These, I know, are amazing. And I just discovered at Whole Foods that they have these already pre-done in these little peel backs and they're like little vinaigrette um, beet beets in the fruit and vegetable department. I cannot tell you. Oh, yeah. They are so yummy, everyone. Yeah, and I think Trader Joe's has them already roasted just in a pack as well. Oh, well, maybe <laughs> I got them from Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know we all go to those shops and we love them because they're convenient. Yes. Now, spinach, I see. You've got mushrooms. You've got celery. Okay, yeah, celery, carrots, onions. That's your base because that's called what's a mirepoix. Yeah. So those really give you a lot of flavor together. Those mm -hmm. are kind of the trinity. Um, another key thing with detoxifying and uh, the soups yep. is your herbs because again we've talked about oh, yeah. that before is the medicinal property so <laughs> I'm gonna add um, some thyme sage I've got a little Ooh. rosemary parsley I'm gonna uh, you're gonna keep doing that I'm just going to pour our tea because we're making some tea and honey which is also good for clearing out those sinuses and also... Yeah, so, uh, you know, I've had a lot of people come up to me and they just have that kind of itchy throat and mm. it just, like, we call it the frog in the throat oh, where yeah. you just can't seem to get that. Put a little bit so we're going to add lemon yeah. and I like honey. I put a little bit of honey in there Yeah, already. and honey helps to coat the throat yeah. and really helps you if you've got that, um, you know, bit of... Cheers, dear. Well, I want that honey in there. Oh, you want more honey? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, but I also noticed that ginger. Yes, so the other things in the broth, mm, last yum. but not least, ginger is anti-inflammatory, it's also detoxifying. Oh, you just put the whole thing in I there? I put the whole thing in there and let it just simmer. And the biggest ingredient is the turmeric. Oh, And it's going to give it a gorgeous golden color and it really helps to mm. detoxify and just cleanse the body. Yeah, I feel very Wendy Williams drinking a cup of tea oh, whilst yeah. we're having a segment. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, how long are we cooking that for? So about two to three hours. You got salt and pepper in it? You can, but really it's not even necessary you. because you're just going to get all you. that out of the vegetables. Okay, well guys, we're going to let this cook up. Um, it's going to be for several hours. We've got some put aside anyway. If you want to find out this amazing broth, and I really do think it is a great thing that we should be doing. You know, keep one in the fridge, I'd yeah. say. Head over to WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Click on Midday Kentucky Recipes. You're going to get it all there. We appreciate you. Stick with us, everyone.